Let's head outside. It is wet out there right now. I really, someone told me I don't even need to come into work anymore. Just say it's going to rain and I nail the forecast every single day and that's kind of the case. Here's what it looks like outside in downtown Vancouver. Low cloud ceiling and a pretty wet start to the day. In Monmouth, it's absolutely pouring. You can see the raindrops there and we've been able to see the raindrops also at Stoller Family Estate watering the vineyard. Very green grass there in Dayton at Stoller Family Estate. Now a flood watch in effect south of Wilsonville down the I-5 corridor. A couple of rivers of concern for minor flooding, the possibility of minor flooding. The Willamette is running quite high, but we're not expecting any flooding there. Watching rivers, creeks, and streams really closely because of how soggy we've been this week. And check out radar. Lightning up right around the heart of the metro up into Vancouver. Just some light sprinkles for now. We have heavier rain down to our south between, say, Mill City and Falls City, extending that line between the Coast Range and the Cascades. And east of the Cascades, it's just Rain we're talking about in mild temperatures, 40s and 50s there uh, between Arlington and Pendleton, even up toward LaGrande. You'll just encounter wet roadways there. It's all part of this upper level low that's spinning off in the Pacific. As that approaches the coast, the wind is picking up out along the coast. Right now, gusting 33 miles per hour in Newport, Cannon Beach gusting 36 miles per hour. So the dividing line between cool air to the north and warmer air to the south is right between Portland and Salem. We've had a 10 degree differential all day long between Portland. Portland and Salem. Salem's 56 right now. Corvallis close to 60 and Roseburg has jumped into the 60s. 55 in Bend, 50 in Pendleton and 51 degrees in Baker City. Eventually Portland will make it into the 50s by later on this afternoon and evening. Here's the rest of the day. You can see how wet we're going to be from west to east and then overnight things start to dry out. Tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock morning commute time. Spotty sprinkles around, mostly cloudy skies, but sun east of the mountains and even west of the mountains tomorrow afternoon. 4 o'clock, maybe you're getting out of town or commuting home from work. I think you might need your sunglasses tomorrow afternoon, which is wonderful. Then the clouds thicken up again overnight. Saturday looks like we'll be in and out of the rain showers, but Sunday does look like a drier day. So if you want to make outdoor plans and rain bothers you, then you might want to hold off until Sunday to do that. Okay, we have had 24 days in a row with measurable rain out at PDX. Really pretty incredible. So far this March, an inch and a half of of rain. That's uh, almost a half an inch above average. And of course, we have a lot more rain on the way. Rain heavy at times this afternoon at the coast with increasing wind. We may see gusts up to 50 miles per hour at beaches and headlands. That steady rain this morning switches over to on and off showers as we head into the evening. Breezy conditions this afternoon, 50 to 25 miles per hour. Watching rising rivers, creeks, and streams east to the Cascades because not only do we have rain, we also have melting snow. The rain will be heavy at times through the gorge and heavy at times also up over Mount Hood with a snow level of 7,000 feet. Tomorrow, a pretty nice day. Sunday also looks fairly nice. So today rain, Saturday rain, and then back to rain next week by Monday night. So the answer, 15 days mm. without rain since January 1st, but we've only had three completely dry days since February 1st. Oh, oh. so you, you won that contest then. We you were said close. Two. Yeah.